Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're learning about a really cool looking crustacean called the Arrow Crab. Prices on these guys just spend about 12 bucks on them. Tank size doesn't really matter. Care level, they're really easy to take care of. Temper, they are semi-aggressive. Reef compatible, they are a good reef crustacean to have. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure that salinity is right on dot for these guys. Max size, you know, from leg to leg, they can grow to be about 6 inches. They get pretty long-legged. Colors is just really browns, maybe a little bit of red in them. Not much coloration to them. Diet, they are a carnivore. Compatibility, you know, just ask. I wouldn't put more than one in a tank. One would be plenty. And origin, they do come from Mexico. So really with these guys, it's closely related to the coral banded shrimp in my opinion. Because they do eat bristle worms. And they do have a chance to be aggressive towards smaller fish and crustaceans. Once they start eating all your algae and diatoms and anything that they find on their own scavenging, eventually that's going to run down and he's not going to be finding much stuff. So if you're not going in there and like actually putting pellets in there for him or anything that you're hand feeding him, he might start going towards some of your fish. So really watch out for that. Normally you can sprinkle some pellets in your tank and he can run and go get them and that'll keep him, keep his belly full and keep him calm down and really good hair algae eater you can see in this video he's eating the red off that rock already and we had just put him in that day so not shy about that but really there's other crustaceans you could pick other than this guy i would be just scared that he would start getting aggressive the older he got just like a coral banded shrimp would but if you do have one, let me know what yours is doing in your tank. See if he's messing with anybody or if he just does his job and hangs out. Hope you all have a good day. I'll see you all next Thursday. Make sure to like and subscribe and watch some more episodes if you haven't seen them. I'll see you all later.